circle moment. You were Truly. here doing this blue six years ago. No, I, literally, I was saying I literally remember talking to this beautiful woman, literally right there, and you um, look just as beautiful as ever. It's lovely so, to see you again. No, you do, Thank and you. I'm so proud of you. Just sum up your 2023, girl. Honestly, it has been. I, it's just like I don't know. I'm. I. I <laughs> where are the words? I. It's just a dreams come true. You know, it's so cheesy that I said that. I. I just reflect on on the girl that I felt like I was when I stood over there, like six years ago. You know what I mean? And and I. I'm here. I have a. I have a 20 minute slot today. Like, I, I get to do a piano moment. Like I'm. You, you know what I mean? Before I was just, no, it's crazy. I'm um, those shoes on. I love no, that. I, I love don't give that. a f. I'm vibing. And, back I, then. and we also talked throughout lockdown on Zoom. I think you were moving house one day. And yeah. You chatted to me on the stairs. Yeah. I mean, you really have come so far. And the Royal Albert Hall must be a moment that you'll never forget. And the whole world gets to see it. BBC. Oh, just talk to me about that whole gig. Uh, it is the proudest <laughs> moment of my life. <laughs> I love you. I love you. <laughs> I love that girl so much. Um, I yeah, proudest moment of my life. Absolutely. The, in the whole thing, my face is like this. I was just yeah. I really got to have a moment of dreams. I got to perform an album of my dreams with a 90-piece musician orchestra, heritage orchestra, Flames Collective. Are you joking? It was crazy. And now BBC are like, yeah, we're going to put it on TV. Huh? 3rd of January. All right. <laughs> and um, what's, what's your friends and family said about this? Because they've been through you, through with you, the whole yeah. thing. Are they as super proud as we are of they you? They are so proud of me, you know. And I think it's just, you know how it is. Every musician knows how tough it is in, 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 the, in the industry, like behind the scenes, you know, how you really have to just keep going. And I'm just so glad I did. I'm so lucky that I got a second chance to like redraw my artistry and start afresh. I feel like respected and seen, which is such a beautiful feeling. Yeah. So yeah, what a year. And Prada, that's a... What, where did that, what on earth happened? That's just crazy, isn't it? That was like four, four years old, maybe that song. TikTok is just a really crazy yeah. gift that just keeps on giving really to me. Yeah. And as if you haven't had a good enough 2023, you got to meet Louis Theroux. Did you fangirl just for like a minute before you started no, filming? Do you know what's actually hilarious, yeah? When, when I did my first support tour, I was opening for Jess Glynn, and I used to wear t-shirts, and one had David Attenborough on it, and one had Louis Theroux on it. I, I had not a clue. I used to just do one piece of mascara and just get out on stage in a Louis Theroux t-shirt, like, hello, I'm opening, I'm an artist. What a full circle moment. What an absolutely lovely human being. I'm so grateful he took the time to get to know me and zoom in on my story. And I, I, But the lineup he's had this series yeah. is quite remarkable. Yes. I love that he chatted to you. Was it, did you have lots of feedback from there? I, I did actually. Do you know, I was absolutely bricking it the entire day before it come out because I've realised something, like, I think I've slightly adjusted to the feeling, we still get nervous, but adjusted to the feeling of putting music out, right? It's kind of like a version of yourself you, or, or, or what you choose to share, but I think with that, it's like all the cracks, all the details, it's unfiltered and it's my personality, you know, it's not just uh, my music. So I, I was worried, I was worried, I was yeah. nervous, but I'm, it come across, I'm glad, I've got good feedback and good stuff, so that's good. And next year, just tell me what's happening. Next year, I, I'm working on something musically that I'm really excited about. But I do, this is what I realise, I don't want to... I think this is a tough thing, like I could talk for England, innit? But I think this is a tough thing with music. You want to... Momentum is good, but you can't make great music if you, if you, if you haven't lived or if you're... You know what I mean? I've worked really hard this year. I think I need to take some time off. Heal my voice up, it's a bit croaky. Yeah, you're better now. Yeah, no, not, not 100%. I've got a little husk. Maybe it will stay. Maybe it will so go. Do you know what I mean? Who knows? <laughs> uh, maybe I'll embrace it. I don't, uh, who knows? Yeah, because you cancelled those gigs, didn't you? That was sad. Well, we postponed them. I'm literally announcing new dates on on, on next week. So yeah. So happy for you. So Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, darling. Speak to you soon. Thanks,